I want to talk about the fact that we can't sing in church at the moment. I don't know how that makes you feel. Maybe it's fine. <laughs> For others, it might feel really uncomfortable and not natural and stopping yourself is, is quite hard work. And now we have to wear a face covering as well. That changes things again. So I've been on a bit of a journey with this. At first, I did feel really uncomfortable, especially I was started at Filling Station, which was just a great opportunity to come back together with people, to experience the presence of God in a corporate setting um, and just to be together again in his presence. You can't get that online. You can sense a bit, but there's a power when we come back together, definitely. So I did find it hard. I really did and just stopping yourself and like oh how can I express myself because I, I like to sing the songs and also God gives me prophetic songs as well and I, I can't share them in the way that I used to or just sing out or just sing about him so I've come to a place where I actually feel quite comfortable now not being able to sing of course I'd love to and we will get to that point again and this is only a season. We have to remember that it's just a season. We will be able to sing again in church at some point, unless you're on the worship team and you do get to sing. So I don't know where you're at on this journey, but it can be hard. But I know that I'm connecting better with the words of the song. I'm trying to think about them more. Um, I know a bit of Makaton signing, so that helps me as well to express myself. But I'm also yeah, trying to connect with the words more, not just sing them maybe as I have sometimes, actually think about what they're saying and what's God saying to me in this. And I feel it's maybe a more personal time of encounter, of intimacy with him. And on Sunday, I was in the balcony with my face covering on, <laughs> and worshipping him I just sensed the presence of God so powerfully and the song Peace is a Promise You Keep was just really personal to me with the words and God just touched me in that and because I wasn't singing it I was thinking more about the words and and what they mean and how about his promises definitely over my life I know there are other, others that I love over their lives as well. So just want to challenge you really where you're at with the whole singing thing, whether that's even stopping you coming back to church. I hope it isn't, but maybe you need to take that step and give it a bit of time and connect in a new way. What's God saying to you in this season? Is there another way he wants to connect with you without song? Because sometimes we're with the mind and our heart needs to connect. But I think it's both places. Our mind maybe can get distracted even when we're singing. We're maybe singing the words, we're not even thinking about them. But our heart needs to connect as well. So what's God doing in this season for you? How is he connecting with you? And we're going to be thinking about this over the next few weeks. How we worship, what does worship look like when we can't sing? And I just felt like we don't need to keep apologising that we can't sing because we can worship with our whole being. We can worship him with our body. We can worship with our mind. We can worship him with our heart. There's other ways we can worship, not just with singing. So there's just a challenge for you and just something to think about. And maybe you want to put your thoughts in the comments below um, and we can have a bit of a conversation so it's just something that's challenged me and we keep apologizing and I don't think we should be because we're here to worship God and encounter him when we come together that is the most important thing <laughs>